Critical path method or CPM is very useful in project time management. Today we'll be using Excel to calculate it. In a previous video, we provided a brief overview of project time management using critical path method or CPM. The link to that video can be found in the description below. Now we want to calculate project critical path using Excel spreadsheets. Although Excel doesn't provide a direct solution for critical path analysis or CPA, we can activate the create table feature to streamline our calculations. You can follow along by getting the Excel workbook via the provided link in the description below. Let's start with a small project with 8 activities for which durations and dependencies or predecessors are specified. We can follow only 4 simple steps to calculate a project critical path. Step 1 is to calculate the early start date of each activity based on the project network logic. In this example, we start with activity A, which is the first project activity with an early start on day 0. We can record these early start dates in our Excel workbook. A duration of 5 days for activity A suggests an early start date of 5 for activities B, C, and D. Activity B has a long duration of 15 days. It will finish on day 20, which will be the early start date for activities E and F. Network forward pass is continued to find the early start date of 30 for activity G and 50 for activity H. This concludes the first step in calculating our project's critical path in Excel. Step 2 is to activate create table feature in Excel and find the early finish dates. We should select a range of cells containing our project data and then press Ctrl T. And from the create table menu, check the box my table has headers and then press OK. Now Excel has tabulated our data and we can remove the filter from the first row by selecting that and deactivating filter from the data menu. The beauty of create table function is that at sign symbol can be used in Excel structure references to refer to a column name within a table. Now we can easily calculate early finish dates. Click on the cell related to activity A and press the equal sign and select the duration cell. After that press the plus sign and select the early start cell and press enter. You can see that early finish dates are calculated for all project activities. This concludes the second step in calculating our project's critical path in Excel. Step 3 is to calculate late finish date of each activity based on the project network logic. We start with activity H which is the last project activity with a late finish of 70 days. We can record these late finish dates in our workbook. A duration of 20 for activity H suggests a late finish date of 50 for activities E and G. Activity G has a duration of 20 days. It will start on day 30 which will be the late finish date for activity F. Network backward pass is continued to find the late finish date of 20 for activities B, C, and D. The late finish date for activity A will be 5 days. This concludes the third step in calculating our project's critical path. Step 4 is to find the late start dates in Excel. Click on the cell related to activity A and press the equal sign and select the late finish cell. After that, press the minus sign and select the duration cell and press enter. You can see that late start dates are calculated for all project activities. This concludes the last step in solving our project's critical path in Excel. You may want to calculate float or slack since we have all the required data. Click on the cell related to activity A and press the equal sign and select the late finish cell. After that, press the minus sign and select the early finish cell and press enter. You can see that activity float is calculated for all tasks. Those activities with zero slack are critical, including A, B, F, G, and H. Float calculations can also be done by subtracting early start from late start for our project activities, which will have the same results. And there you have it, an easy calculation of project critical path using only four simple steps in Microsoft Excel. Again, you can access the Excel workbook via the provided link in the description below. To watch more videos like this, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you in the next one.